Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today is February 23rd. It is a Friday. And listen, I know that we don't do videos on Fridays. I know. This is special. So just bear with me. Today is the one year anniversary of the first video that I put out on YouTube. I technically created the channel back in like December or early January. But we didn't actually end up putting out a video until February 23rd last year. And this is, I guess, just like a little update, a little nostalgia, because my first ever hunt was a Yukon moose hunt. We, I think, ended up with a diamond in that video. This one, I, I don't have that kind of high hopes for, because I'm not going to be quite as actively hunting. It's going to be a little more of walking, shooting occasionally, and just chit-chatting for a little bit. So since February of last year, my channel says that I've put out 70 videos, but I think I need to not count some of those because some of those are actually leftover Twitch VODs. So I would say we probably put out just under or just over a video a week for 2023, which I'm pretty satisfied with. I mean, like, I got married last year in October, so I definitely took a week off for that because it was insanity and there was, I, I just couldn't, at the time, continue doing videos through it. I was way too new and I've learned a lot in the last year. I've definitely gotten a lot better at editing. My first, probably, goodness, my first handful of videos, they didn't have transitions. It was just hard cuts of footage. I didn't add music to my videos for a really long time because I didn't understand, like, what I could and couldn't use with copyright and all that other stuff. So it was a while before I would say that my content really got, like, Decent. <laughs> I, I think I started to get really comfortable a lot about like late summer in like August. There was like I had the ability to start making jokes within my videos. So we had there was a video that I did on SRP and like I fell off a cliff and I was able to put in like the dumb ways to die meme song and it just like that kind of stuff with editing and like that kind of creativity like that makes me laugh that makes me smile that's what i want to keep doing so any chance that i get to put in a funny meme or a funny joke to my videos i'm absolutely going to do it it's probably gonna be cringe i don't really care because it makes me smile and that's what i want to do i'm not gonna do this for like gain of any type beyond it makes me happy and i think that a lot of people should take that approach I, I think YouTube is a very fun creative endeavor for a lot of people to do. You know, it's not for everybody, which is absolutely true. And I do stand by that. But I think that if you think that you want to try it, if you have like the smallest feeling that you think that you might want to try it, try it. I'll send it. Like my first video, I was using like the free editing software that comes with Windows 10, I think Clipchamp is what it was called. And I remember like I would load footage from my recordings and I could only record for like 20 minutes at a time. And then so I would upload that footage into into the thing and I would have to go and do something while it loaded. Like that's that's how bad it was and like since I've bought myself like a really nice high-end editing software and like I use OBS for my recording, my streaming, everything. Like I think we've made some serious improvements <laughs> over what we started with and I, I'm really excited to see what kind of improvements we can make over the next year. Now as of today I think we've got just a scooch over 160 subscribers. I don't exactly remember that last digit, but it's a one and a six and then something else. 
I was I was stoked to hit 50. I couldn't believe we made it over 100 because I was not a consistent person when it comes to YouTube. I I just wasn't. And I I can't believe we got where we got, you know. It's I don't know. It's incredible is what it really is. But if you've noticed down there in the lower left corner of the video here, we have actually rebranded and updated the logo. I, as much as I love and appreciate the original logo of the channel, I think it was time to better reflect the species that I more traditionally hunt, both in games and IRL, which is, you know, white-tailed deer. <laughs> so, instead of keeping the kudu, we switched over to a white tail logo. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, that transition has happened across all platforms that I use the logo on. If I miss one, please tell me. <laughs> um, that would be a little embarrassing, but I think I'll, I think I'll manage. But in the last year, you know, we've gotten a fallow deer, great one. I've gotten two non-typicals in the Hunter Classic. I've made a lot of progress in my learning of the Hunter Classic. Late summer, we added the angler to our, you know, like docket of games that I will play. We kind of took away the hunter off for a while. I had some recording issues with it where I would get really bad frame rate drops and I couldn't figure it out. I think I finally figured it out. So it will slowly be coming back more and more often. Probably I would say as of right now, Way of the Hunter is probably going to be my least played game. Just because it it doesn't quite appeal to me as much as Classic does, or Call of the Wild, or The Angler. I'm excited to have some more IRL hunting content out for you guys this year. I've bought myself some nice, really nice cameras for recording out in the field. I would like to get on a much more accurate schedule, but in all honesty, with the day job that I have, I just don't think that a f like really hard schedule is going to pan out for me until summer. I work at a school, so I don't think I'm going to just have that ability and have that free time to really consistent make content on like a regular basis with all of the other things that life has happening and until summer vacation, basically. <laughs> when I have two, two and a half months of no work just unlimited time to make and create and do what i really do enjoy but as far as future goals go for my channel for the next year i would like to get more consistent with my videos i'd like to be more consistent with my streams and i mean it's it makes me upset when i have to do this but that might just mean that i have to make an adjustment to the schedule and we'll, we can figure that out as we need to. I don't like changing my schedule. I'd rather keep it just the same and do what I can. But the reality is I might have to readjust the schedule to make it easier for me to make more consistent content for you guys. And I think that's okay. It just bothers me enough <laughs> that I don't want to do it. I mean, I don't fault other creators for having to make adjustments for life. I shouldn't fault myself, but here we are. I do. But I definitely want to keep doing classic content. I definitely want to try to keep doing more Call of the Wild content. The Angler, I want to keep up with. Way of the Hunter, I'd like to bring back more. <laughs> um, like, in the capacity of if I do one video a week. I'd like to have, like, in a two-month span, so eight weeks, I'd like to have, you know, three classic, two Call of the Wild, two Angler, one Way of the Hunter, maybe. But 
I would also like to try to bump my videos up to two a week, so one on Wednesdays, one on Sundays. I might shift around the streaming schedule, so instead of streaming on Mondays on Twitch and Wednesdays on YouTube, I might do Mondays on Twitch, Fridays on YouTube. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'd say we've sufficiently bruised the area, so I think we're done hunting for the video. <laughs> I'm not going to drag this out any longer than it needs to be. Yeah, 2023 was good. Non-typicals and classics. Started getting diamonds in the angler. I got a great one in Call of the Wild. And I've kind of figured out way the hunter. I'm still enjoying creating content. So I'm going to keep making content. And I really hope that anybody who stops by enjoys their time here. But I appreciate you all for coming out and hanging out with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Cheers to another year on YouTube. Let's keep going. And I will see you next time. Bye.